Tonight, I am taking a picture of the Omega Nebula, which is designated as Messier 17. This is another very bright target that sits right in the Milky Way core and will make for a great image. One of the most common questions I get, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, or Discord, about my observatory deck is not only its purpose, but also about the stability of it, and if it gets the shakes real bad and can cause exposures to get sloppy and messed up. Well, its purpose is just really for me and my gear to not only have a safe place, because, you know, we live where there's no local light pollution at all, uh, or really light pollution for that matter, so it gets very, very dark, and we also have plenty of wild animals around. So we just thought it would be a good idea to have a nice safe place for me and the gear during the nights. And it also helps me get above these obstructions like this tree and of course our house and not have to move around the yard depending on what target I want to shoot. I know I have a spot that will give me a pretty much a 360 degree view on the entire sky completely open without uh, any obstructions at all. Now the stability actually isn't that bad. Uh, if you're up there walking around and things, of course your guiding is going to go a little bit goofy, but I'm never really up there walking around or anything, and in wind it performs fine. I've actually shot on the ground a few times, and I really didn't really notice a difference between guiding, so apparently the stability seems to be pretty good. Now, if you never had a go at this target before, you really need to. It gets ignored an awful lot just because, I guess, of it being near uh, Lagoon and Triffid and Eagle and all those super bright, beautiful nebulae. And it just kind of gets ignored by everyone, and it, not a lot of people actually shoot it over the other three objects that I mentioned. But oh my gosh, this is such a cool target. It has some really neat, wispy features throughout the whole nebulae, and it's just super cool, and it's really bright. So we are pointed at the moon right now, and I'm just getting a live view, and it is insane. There is actually a stacking option with the ASI Air for planetary or lunar photography that I will probably make a video on here soon, and you can also do deep space stacking with it, which is also really interesting. So I'm going to try that out, see how it works, make a video on it, and see what some of you guys think. All right, it is dark finally, and we're about to get up and imaging, but we got to do our normal uh, workflow of focusing and collimating, polar aligning, and then we hit the slew, guide calibrate, all that stuff, so we got to get all that done. It is currently 8.59, and I'm hoping to be imaging by about 9.30, so we still got a little bit longer to wait until it's fully dark so we can start imaging anyway, so... Uh, we can pass that time by actually going ahead and doing the stuff we can do, like polar alignment and focusing. You can see the nebula in a single three second sub, as you can see here, you can start to see detail in it. So we just gotta get the frame up and our rotation right of the camera. So we're gonna move the coma corrector in the focuser to make sure we are exactly framed up the same way we were last time. So now I know how much I need to change the rotation as they told me on the phone. So we're just going to slightly unscrew one of those screws and we are going to turn the camera over and take a picture and it's going to update me on the rotation every single time I take a picture so I know exactly how much I need to move. So I got my new and updated rotation so I know that I need to move it some more. So we're going to move it some more. And just continue the work with this until we get it. So here's how our single subs are going. As you can see, it's pretty good. We're getting the details in there. So quite nosy though, as these are just single subs. And imaging is going well. I am so happy that tonight's actually going well. There's another night to get out here and enjoy the stars, enjoy astrophotography. It's been raining for like a week straight. So to be able to do this again is so great after a, just a week of non-stop terrible weather and like bad thunderstorms. It is looking promising that we should be able to get those uh, at least four hours that I'm hoping for, maybe more. So we'll just see how that all turns out.